So this is one of the best Linux laptops I have ever seen. Um, and I'm gonna give this a bit of a uh, speed boost by sticking an SSD drive in there. I got this laptop quite a while ago. It's actually from 2011. I don't know where it came from. I don't know if these stickers are a clue as to where it came from um, or where, who its original owner was. Ignore the current workspace. I've run out of room in my normal desk areas. So at a minute I'm sat on the floor as we, uh, as I look at updating this laptop. But first of all, I thought what I'd do is I'd just give a quick run around it because actually if you can find one of these on eBay, which they're not very hard to find, these are amazing laptops. It's the Lenovo ThinkPad X220. So it was an ultra portable in its day, 2011. I think it weighed less than three pounds. Not sure what that is in kilos. Ports wise, I think this is called an always on USB 2. Was it ethernet? headphone or audio jack that's where the hard drive is other side we've got a usb 3 vga Whew, that shows its age display port usb 2 a physical switch for the turn the radios on and off little tiny battery i think this was like the middle size battery the little foot uh, no this little foot actually only just fell off so it's not bad for something of this age. This is for a dock. Oh yeah, sorry, there was, I think there's three different types of batteries you could get on these. You could get one that had, I think it had three cells. One that had six cells and one that had nine cells. I think this is the sort of middle one, the six cell battery. It still runs for about two hours. I do think this is an amazing Linux laptop if you're a Linux user and you just want to, um, you know, browse the web, that kind of stuff. Something you can chuck in your bag. It does have this weird kind of soft feel plastic, which actually is stood up quite well considering its age. But there are areas where you can see that it's starting to wear down. I noticed some around near the USB ports earlier on. So here you can see whatever's underneath this. It feels like some kind of metal or something. Replacing the hard drive on these really super easy. It's one screw there that, and that'll release uh, the hard drive. We'll pull it out in a second. We'll put an SSD in there. I think this is a 7200 spinning disk in there at the moment. RAM, uh, officially it can hold 8 gig, but people have put 16 in for, you know, a long time now. So no problems there. And that's what I will do in a few days. I don't actually have any RAM at the moment, but when I get some, we'll get that sorted out. So at the minute I already have Linux Mint on here. You see a bit of flicker in this, but that's just my camera. It's not really like that screen. It's a good quality screen. It looks nice. Not very good viewing angles. It's kind of, it's not glossy. It's just like matte finish. Keyboard is a really nice keyboard. I think all keyboards on the Lenovo laptops are nice actually, or certainly all the ones I've seen. This one was the i7. It's currently got six gig of RAM. The little nipple, or track point. One of the things I do like about these actually is the no reflections on the screen. It's really nice with these kind of matte screens. Let's get this thing open. Just standard Phillips screws, none of this nonsense torques or anything like that. Oh okay, yeah, this is one of the nice things on this. I've never seen it on any other laptop, or at least I haven't looked. If you spill liquids over the keyboard, you've got these little drain holes. So it tells you where the liquid is gonna come through. There, and there, and there. Anyway, let's have a look if we can get in here. Yeah, we should take this out, shouldn't we? Okay, so we definitely have two sticks of RAM in there. We'll get this closed up a second. Move on to what we do actually have. So this drive originally belonged to somebody else. I bought it. Um, I actually have used it to put Windows on, I think. I think it has Windows 11. It was in one of the uh, Mac Pros. I don't think we ever wiped it. So let's have a look at the disc. Weird little like plastic tag thing you have to pull out. Right, this is clipped on. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, I still need all of that stuff there. Uh, right, okay. I did not look. So that was that way. Okay, so you need to be that way here. Yeah. Right, and the little thingy bulbs back on. It's not in quite easy, actually. I don't know if I click, lock it back in place. I don't know if this was the previous owner or the previous previous owner. I have no idea how many owners they have. It's not like they, not like cars where they come with a history, but I think they're like a bank or something. Someone I really, really like who they bank with. If you look at a newer ThinkPad, the little eye glows up. But interestingly, there's still an area of this that glows up. So if you look at it in the dark, you can see a little white dot kind of just in the middle of this writing, which is a bit weird. Really a bit of an afterthought, I think, from the ThinkPad at the time. Let's see if we're going to have Windows 11. We'll 
put Linux on there in a minute. Interestingly, this doesn't have a backlit keyboard, but it does have a little light that's sort of up here, which you can activate. This does be into Windows, doesn't it? So what looks on here. It's nice to see Windows 11 running on a 2011 laptop. That's because we had to make some changes to make Windows 11 run on the Mac Pro, of course. Those changes obviously allow it to run on anything. So yeah, okay, cool. That is pretty awesome. It's actually not that bad. Uh, let's have a look at System Manager. Um, no, Task Manager. Anyway, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm wasting time. So uh, yeah, I mean, this is Windows 11 running on a 2011 laptop. No problem, actually, really. Uh, let's get Linux on here, because that's what we actually want. Let's shut this down. Good old Linux Mint. I want to put 16 gig of RAM in this with an SSD as well. This is going to be blisteringly fast. Like I said, this is without a doubt one of the best, probably the best Linux laptop I've ever used. I mean, I did have a Dell XPS 13 as well running Linux, and I had an X1 Carbon running Linux, but both of those cost a lot more money. So the reason I think this is the best is because it's so cheap. You can buy one of these, the i7 one, with say eight gig of RAM and an SSD, it's probably about 120, 130 pounds in the UK at the moment. That is not a lot of money. You definitely don't need to see a Linux Mint installation. That'll be quite dull, but it should also be quite fast. And there you go. That was very quick. And I forgot to even plug a power cable in. And there we are. Like I say, 2011 somewhere around about 100 pounds and that'll probably include an ssd actually but if it doesn't you know 20 quid for an ssd and you've got a absolutely cracking laptop uh like linux laptop anyway and and as we saw um it can run windows 11. windows 11 will work perfectly fine there's no problem with that if you are a linux user i don't think there is a better laptop because it's just so cheap and still so good and this keyboard is really really nice to type on it is a bit chunky, not the keyboard, well, I suppose the keyboard, but the computer itself, especially compared to a MacBook Air. But weight-wise, it's not far off. See, it has a little white dot on the back. In the middle of ThinkPad, it's such a weird thing, like that they thought about putting it there, but just any old place. Whereas if you look at like a more modern ThinkPad, especially like the X1s and stuff, this light is, oh, this sort of light area is behind the red dot in, in Think and therefore the little red dot glows up, which is makes a little bit more sense. <laughs> so they thought about doing it, but why did they do it? I don't know. I'm glad I put the, the SSD in. It probably didn't need it, but I just wanted to give it a little bit more of that sort of sprightly feeling. And I reckon when I put the RAM in, it's just gonna be awesome. It's gonna last, well, it's gonna last my son. It's certainly better than buying a Chromebook anyway. At least that's my opinion. 